These cyclins combine with CDKs 4 or 6 and must be present in sufficient amounts for the cell to progress through the cell cycle. Cyclin D CDK complexes act on the retinoblastoma protein PRB. PRB is a powerful growth inhibitory molecule which acts as a break on the cell cycle. PRB acts as a break by binding to and blocking the activity of another protein E2F. E2F is required to turn on many genes involved in cell cycle progression. Active cyclin D CDK complexes phosphorylate and inactivate PRB, which leads to the release of E2F. E2F is then free to function and to drive cells through the cell cycle. Let's examine the cell cycle and important regulators in more detail. At the beginning of the cell cycle, levels of G1 cyclins rise and bind to their CDKs. This causes the cell to prepare the chromosomes for replication. Cyclin A binds to CDK2 and E2F, forming a protein known as S phase promoting factor, or SPF. This SPF enters the nucleus and prepares the cell to duplicate its DNA. Mitotic cyclins, such as cyclin B, complex with CDK, forming an M phase promoting factor, which initiates assembly of the mitotic spindle, breakdown of the nuclear envelope, and condensation of the chromosomes. At this point, the M phase promoting factor activates the anaphase promoting complex, or APC. This protein induces anaphase by allowing sister chromatids to separate and degrade cyclin B, which induces the completion of mitosis, turns on synthesis of G1 cyclins for the start of the next cycle, and enables DNA replication before the start of the next mitosis. The cell cycle also contains inhibitory proteins that restrict movement through the cycle. Examples of these include P15 and P16, which block the activity of the CDK partners of cyclin D and prevent the progression from G1 to the S phase. Other examples of inhibitory proteins are P21 and P27, which inhibit both cyclin D and E. The cell cycle also contains sensors to stop progression if something has gone wrong. These include DNA damage checkpoints and spindle checkpoints. If the damage cannot be repaired, the cell will undergo apoptosis, or programmed cell death. 